Once upon a time, a trail led from the Port of Auckland to the town of Cornwallis. We know part of this trail as the famous K Road now, and the shanty town of Cornwallis with its pub and timber mill have long since gone. There's a park here now, over 1,900 acres, including the recently officially named Karangahapi Peninsula, a large finger of rocky land poking out into the Manukau Harbour, separating the inner and outer harbour regions. From early spring to late autumn, the Manukau sees masses of bait fish sheltering in the harbour. Mullet, mackerel, piper, juvenile trevally, and even baby snapper. And feeding on these are the elusive kingfish. target kingfish within Cornwallis Park, but the most popular fishing spot is the well-known Cornwallis Wharf. Built in 1923, 193 metres long. It was rebuilt just over 20 years ago. It's a very popular fishing platform. It has anglers almost 24-7 over the summer months. Many young anglers have forged their fishing skills from the wharf and it sees its fair share of kingfish action too. But targeting them from the shore is what this vid's about. You'll be taken along on a journey from spot to spot, chasing kingfish in the Great Cornwallis Park. There is a number of ways to target kingfish from the shore around here. Stick baits, poppers, dead baits, spinners, soft baits. But by far the most effective way is live baiting. There is a bunch of species one can use to live bait, from small baits like yellow-eyed mullet and piper, to bigger baits like kawai and trevally, but by far the best live bait is a reasonable sized grey-eyed mullet. A technically challenging species to catch from the rocks, as they generally don't take baited hooks around here. Set netting is primarily how they're caught in the Manukau Harbour, but one can also foul hook a grey-eyed mullet by casting unbaited treble hooks and snagging them. One has to visually sight cast at them to have any real success. Then again, sometimes you that. just get lucky. That just got washed up. So going out for a live bait. Wicked. That just got washed up onto the shoreline. Oh, the perfect livey. Start with spot one, where a lot of people start from, the boat ramp. What was that? Kingy right there. Are you waiting for a fish? <laughs> Outclassed by a five-year-old girl. The wharf can be a good source of bait. Piper are prolific here at times. They can be described as kingfish candy. So bait stocking for the spots to come is why we are here. Cornwallis Beach. It's a popular spot, it has been for a long time now. It's well maintained, has a barbecue area, a ski lane, and it's popular with people walking their dogs. The beach saw many anglers in the past, but nowadays most anglers are drawn to the wharf, like Piper to a light.
the western end is less foot traffic. It's more sheltered from the predominant southwesterly winds and was a good easy spot to invite some kids down for a fish. Well, falling the seagulls. Hello. Throwing out a burly bomb and using sabikis is a great way to introduce kids to fishing. Got a fish! Woohoo! Sacrificing him for, um, absolutely perfect, mate. That was brilliant. And there's there'll be little fish just out there, so just wait for them, you'll feel the bites eventually. Yay! Is that your first fish? Yeah. You might see that big kingfish right in the right in close. Ran some slide baits off the beach, but there was no luck. No kingfish heads for the barbecue this time, but there's plenty of sauce. Yum. Come on, eat it. I want to see you eat that. <laughs> At the eastern end of Cornwallis lies Mill Bay, a super tidal zone fed by a running stream. You can get out to an isolated danger marker from here, but it's super slippery and a long way to go for a short amount of fishable tide. Despite the shallow water, some decent predatory fish feed around here. Oh, look at the teeth marks. Stingrays are prolific in the harbour, eagle rays and short tails mostly. This one appears to have been attacked by a orca. All the liver's gone, all the juicy parts. Uh, not a live bait just got it, I think it's a stingray. Live baiting can be problematic here as the shallow mud flats hold many rays, but not always. Big nasty short there, all right. I just got a snapper and a live bait. I've got two live sprats out for kingfish out of Mill Bay. The flooding tide pushes one back around here but Spot 4 did provide some good table fish. It's harder than it looks. On the western side of Karangahapi Peninsula lies Kakamatua Inlet. It's another super tidal shallow bay fed by a running stream. Not much on the fishing potential, but cut into the surrounding hillside nearby is this escarpment that does have some potential.
Look at that. That just got washed up. It's just so going out for a live bait. Wicked. They just got washed up onto the shoreline. Holy moly. He just got hammered. Oh no. I thought I was in. Unbelievable, unbelievable live boats. He's obviously been down the throat of a big king already. And he's still swimming hard. How did I not hook up? Just a big car one. Oh. Thank you.